Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. Uh, just being close to the ball, um, sort of roaming around wherever I want, get myself in the game a bit more, and yeah, it just feels free. I like it. Is it your favourite position? Yeah, I think it is. That's where I'm having my mo uh, the most fun. As I said, just sort of frees your mind up a bit. You just got to sort of follow the ball and react to a few things, and yeah, scoring a few tries helps as well. So yeah. Are you a vocal fullback? Yeah, I've definitely have gotten better. It's something I had to uh, push myself to work towards. Um, it's very important, especially in defence. You've got to be vocal, especially when the forwards are tied. So, yeah, that's something I've definitely worked on. You don't hesitate from telling some of the big boys in the middle? No. <laughs> no, no, that's what, that's what our team needs. And that's something we've spoken about to keep each other accountable in those tough moments. So, um, if I have to do it, I'll do it to make the team better. Yeah, just on that, like, I mean, obviously, defence is an area you guys are struggling. Like, have there been some pretty honest conversations when you've had reviews and stuff like that? Yeah, always, always accountable. Um, you can never question our effort. It's just those small little details that maybe um, just a usual fan doesn't really see. But we always go back on a Monday and yeah, really have those honest conversations. There's no hiding. Yeah, it must, you know, given the, the expectation and excitement around you guys this year and the results haven't been there in the way you would have liked, it, it must be disappointing for, for you guys that... You know, when any season doesn't go the way you want, everyone starts the season back in November playing for Premiership. Yeah, it is frustrating, but um, I think we haven't been too like as bad as what everyone thinks. As I said, we've just we're missing moments in games where we can really put the pressure on the other team and happen on the weekend again. I think we've just got to be better at identifying those moments when we are on top and feeding off that energy, and it can make a big difference in the game and at the end of the on the scoreboard as well. So, when you spoke about honest conversations. Coach coming to that was pretty honest in the press conference. I don't know if you heard it afterwards, no. but he said amateurish three times off especially defensive, you know, like conceding two tries from Dunning Arms. Yeah. Um, how was he in the review and what was I guess his message to you ahead of the big game this week? Yeah, he's just always honest. Um, he's always keeping us accountable. You know, we had to do the video session ourselves and um, you know, just ask look each other in the face and ask each other those tough questions, but yeah, those little dummy half tries is not our standards. We set high standards here, especially in defence with all the systems that Ciro's trying to work, uh, help us work on. So, yeah, it's just not good enough. So, what, so, he, let you let, so he left it to you players to review, is that right? Yep, it was all player driven. Uh, we made sure that um, we addressed it and it's something we're working on, we've worked on today as well to be better at because we can't afford to leak those soft, try, uh, soft tries. Is that the first time you guys have done that this year? Like it's just been a player-led review? Um, no, we to, that's one of our main focus, to keep it player-driven, but um, it wasn't to that extent that we've done it before. Mm -hmm. But it was good, it's what we needed. Is, is, it, is it tough to call out your other teammates? Yeah, it is, it is tough, but I think that's what we need, and that's something that we've talked about addressing, talked about getting better, because it's only going to make each other better and set the stands high and make us perform better on the weekend. So. There must be a few bruised egos when that happens. Like, is that part of it too? No, I don't think that's... We've got a really good bunch here. Everyone's willing to learn. I think that's the best thing about this team is there's no egos. No one's better than the next person. and Everyone's just willing to get better. You spoke about high standards. How high do your standards have to be against Penrith? Mm -hmm. like they're, yeah. they're the best team in the game this year. Yeah, yeah definitely. They um, have to be as high as they have been this this year. And um, Yeah, you just you can't give them anything. you got to work hard, compete on everything and... Yeah, I think that's what we've got to focus on this week, just competing for the whole 80 minutes because, you know, they're still human. Every every team has a weakness and we've just got to exploit those weaknesses when the opportunities come. Well, very nice blues. Strapping your boots up and seeing Billy Army there. Yeah, 100%. Just the intensity and um, the willingness and the hustle he brings to our team gives us a lot of confidence. He puts it on the train paddock um, every day and, yeah, that's that's how he plays. What about Fox? Yeah, it's just his energy as well, how loud he is and... He's always talking, you can just feed off his energy and yeah, it comes with those big plays as well, so that helps.